Greetings friends, welcome. Today we're looking at why Git has the added complexity of a staging area. Why not just allow all your files to move into the repo when you do Git commit? Well, we're gonna run through a quick scenario here to show the advantages of having that extra staging area. Before we jump in, if you find yourself enjoying the video, feel free to click subscribe below. You'll get updates for future videos. All right, so we've got an empty repo here at the moment. Um, say we've been working on some file. We're just gonna add some data to a file that's going to get picked up by Git. We'll see it here in the working area. Uh, and then also we've got some, um, some secret information in the file as well. So let's add um, secret data into a crypto.txt file. Um, so Git will notice this as well, and it will see you've got the two files there. Now, if you only had one command to add to the repo, if you did a git commit essentially and it picked up from the working area, both of those will get added to the repo. So it will be nice if we could say, actually, we only want to add file.txt. We don't want to add secret data. Um, and so that's where the staging area helps us out. Because when we do git add, we could say everything or we could say file.txt only. And you'll notice here then that in the staging area, file.txt is all that's in the staging area. And when we do a commit, that is what is gonna get added to the repo. Um, so let's do that now, let's do a git commit. And if we look into our repo here, we've got one file with, and you can see the text in the file on this, with data in it, and no sign of our secret being added in there. And particularly if you're gonna push that out to a remote repo, you definitely want, don't want that data becoming public. So that is where the staging area helps us out. We can select which particular files will get added to the repo. So it doesn't even have to be as um, important as secret data. You might be working on a couple of files. It's One's got changes, but well, two have got changes, but you only want to add one of them. One of them's not quite ready yet. So even there, you just want to be able to pick those files that are ready to be added to the repo put them into this staging area and then do a commit. So that's why that extra complexity is there. Hope that was interesting. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if not. Thanks very much, Thanks very much for watching. Anyway, catch you next time. Bye.